be the most important word that you were ever going to hear. Hear me now. It's the holidays. Some of you are spending it with family. It's festive. There's memories. It's a good time. Some of you, this is the hardest time of the year. I know, I get it. I work uh, every single day this week, plus Christmas and New Year's, because I'm a dog walker. I've shared that before. People go away. They need someone to take care of their animals. So I know that feeling. My family, they're not in my state. I'm one of 12, but they're in all different states. I get it. I do have good memories though, I really do, of growing up and um, spending my holidays with my family. But this is not the time of year to be driving angry, to be manipulating with your gifts, to be angry if you didn't get what you wanted. You know, just to, to, to be quarreling back and forth. To say you love this time of year, but you really resent it. It really is a time of reflection. It should be. Not a time of drinking and be merry. All right, the be merry part's fine, <laughs> but the drinking. You know, it's a time to be festive. It's a time to be reflecting back. That's the festive I'm talking about. Reflection on yourself. Okay, because we may not always have these times in America. There's hard times and harder times coming. I'm telling you this on the holiday because why not? I mean, why not be prepared? Um, because if you're always like this on the holiday, what if something does come to America on that holiday? You know, you just got to be ready. The Bible says you have to be ready in season and out of season. It's important. But I'm going to tell you something. To those that are hurting, God hears you. He didn't come here for us to be around the tree giving each other presents. I'm sorry. He did not. He came, he sent his son to die for us. And the way he died, it was pretty gruesome. You know? But the Bible says it pleased the father to crush the son. I never understood that. Why? But it was for the world that he died. And it was for salvation. So even though we celebrate the birth of Jesus, and by the way, we're not totally sure this is that Christmas is the day he was born, but we celebrate it nonetheless. It is about Christ. It will always be about Christ. But the world and mankind manipulates the situation manipulates and forgets salvation and doesn't even talk about it. We get to the table and there's food on the table and we stuff our faces and then we drink and then we go and we open the gifts and we make the presents and the gifts bigger than the gifter. Right in front of our children, we make the gifts bigger than the gifter. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. I am just telling it like it is. I'm not a Debbie Downer for the holiday. I am a truth teller. I tell the truth. I say things that some of you want to say to your families, but you don't say it. So, what is the blessing of Christmas? It's that God sent his son. He sent his son down for the whole world to receive him. That is the blessing. It's eternal life, okay? And yes, where there's a God, there's a devil, and he will distract, and he will distort, and he will change things and have you believing in other things if your heart is not truly seeking Jesus Christ. He is the Lord and Savior. Nobody else in any religion or anything you believe in talks about eternal life. Only Jesus Christ talks about eternal life. You're not going to find it in science. You're not going to find it anywhere else. This is why he came. It also says he came to set the captives free. Do you understand what that means? I'll tell you. 
That means that we all have trauma in our life, okay? From whatever, we have trauma. And that trauma keeps us in prison inside. It could be emotional, spiritual, mental, physical, whatever it is. But he came to set the captives free. And he does do that when you seek him. But here's the catch. You have to seek him with all your heart. Okay, guys. I thought I'd share that today. Like I said, I don't write stuff down. I just have something on my heart and I'm just, it comes as I'm speaking to you. And um, so, yeah, be blessed. Yeah, and also have a safe New Year's. Yeah, that's another thing. New Year's, we celebrate, we pop the bottle, and we all go, Happy New Year's! But is it really happy? Are you being honest with yourself? Again, seek the Lord while he can be found. Because the Bible even says, seek the Lord while he can be found. What does that tell you? That tells you that one day, you're going to seek and he's not going to be found. So today is a day, the Bible says, of salvation. So guys, God bless. Stay safe. And by the way, that's not my Jeep. So don't look at me and say, look how rich she is. That is not my Jeep. It just matches my vest. And I love Jeeps. That's my customer's Jeep. Anyway, God bless. And I'll catch you later.